hey guys i will show you how to fix this problem on windows system so this solution is applicable for windows 10 as well as windows 11 operating system you need to just follow my screen and we will fix this issue together so first of all we need to just uh, go to search bar and type your task manager and here it is click on it once we are here we need to click on run new task you will get this option here on the top side and middle of this area then click on browse button now go to this pc and then open c drive now open windows folder you will get this folder in the last just scroll down and open it and again just scroll down little bit and you will get this system32 folder so double click on it to open it and again keep scrolling down also in the system32 folder you just select any uh, folder and press C keep pressing C until you get uh, this file cmd.exe just select it and click on open now check this box so it will create this task with administrative privileges and click on ok once we are here we need to close the background windows and we will focus on this window so we have to execute some commands so type all these commands carefully and hit enter to execute them first of all type in netsh winsock reset and hit enter to execute this command so we need to restart the computer in order to complete the reset but before that we will execute some methods and commands also so type in netsh int ip reset space reset log dot txt and hit enter so again it will uh, you know uh, say they restart the computer to complete this action so type exit and before the restartation process just go to device manager and click here to open it and then uh, expand the network adapters right click on the particular device select properties go to drivers tab and click on update driver you can also select the first option also if this does not work then second the uh, use uh, use second option click here select the model and click on next once done close all windows one by one and again open run by right click on this start icon select run and type here services dot msc and hit enter so it will open services window and find out wlan okay keep scrolling down and here it is uh, wlan auto config so right click on it uh, select properties and make sure if we have to select the startup type as automatic then click on apply start the process and click on ok again do the same process for the windows update uh, so here it is right click on it select properties say it startup type as automatic and start the process now restart the system you can also check out the pin comment to fix this issue quickly and effectively that will be a great option to fix this issue and don't forget to like the video please do subscribe the channel